Hey folks. So before I head out for the evening, uh, I wanted to quickly share something valuable with all the Kubernetes enthusiasts out there. Uh, so here's a you know a little throwback. I, I I set up my very first Kubernetes hands-on lab uh, as I remember a few years ago. So I used uh, KubeADM along with the inspiration from you know none other than Kelsey Hightower's uh, Kubernetes the hard way. Uh, and and let me tell you, if you are uh, serious about learning Kubernetes and truly digesting how it uh, all works under the hood, that's the way to go. Uh, there's no shortcuts guys right just pure knowledge and hands-on experience right so uh, you know fast forward to today uh, i have refined and refactored my my kubernetes uh, home lab setup using uh, virtualbox uh, vagrant and and kubedium so i should say honestly it's it's super flexible beginner friendly uh, once you know the basic i mean right so and gives you a, gives you a solid playground to break fix and uh, learn right so and here's the best part uh, I'll be sharing my uh, open source GitHub repository uh, with all the code and, and steps uh, so you can set it up in your own local machines as well. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll walk you through exactly uh, how to spin up this lab, right, step by step. Uh, so you can build your own local Kubernetes cluster uh, and then get hands on with, you know, real, real scenarios, right. So guys, stay tuned uh, and let's build this together. Welcome back to the demonstration. So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how my uh, simple home lab setup for Kubernetes, Kubernetes looks like. Uh, something you can run right on your laptop, uh, no cloud account required. Um, we are going to use, uh, you know, Vagrant and VirtualBox to automate the setup of a, uh, you know, full multi-node uh, Kubernetes cluster. Um, as a start, uh, I need to explain the architecture. So here's the architecture uh, looks like. So let me quickly explain it. Uh, you know, we start by cloning the GitHub repository that I have already provided in the description. So it is an open source uh, GitHub repository. So you can clone it and even do modifications and enhancements to that repository. I have done the same for the original repository as well. So this has everything we need to create this cluster. Right, so when we run this command vagrant up, uh, you know vagrant will use the virtual box API here uh, to create virtual machines, and 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 then it will automatically provision those uh, machines using the scripts I have already written. Uh, this this will install uh, you know Kubernetes. Uh, it will sets up uh, the the it will set up networking and 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 gets the cluster ready. Mm, you know the result is a uh, proper Kubernetes cluster uh, with a control plane node and and one or more worker nodes. Uh, that's based on the uh, configurations that you have in the settings.yaml file. I'll I'll explain those uh, files or the scripts uh, in a in a moment. Um, yeah, you can configure how many you want. Um, once the cluster is ready, uh, you know you can grab the kube config file and 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 run kubectl commands. Uh, you know just like with any Kubernetes cluster. Mm, and if you want a GUI uh, like you know graphical user interface, you can also launch the Kubernetes dashboard as well. Uh, so it is possible here as well. Mm, and now let me give you kind of a quick overview of the project files. Mm, you know, since I have shared this as an open source repository, you can explore it uh, by yourself and and use it uh, in your own home home lab setup as well. Mm, first, uh, let's start with Vagrant file. Um, this is the main configuration for Vagrant, right? So it, it defines how many virtual machines to create, um, what CPU and memory they use, uh, what IPs they get. So it also causes scripts to install the install Kubernetes as well. So and this in this version, I have added uh, version pinning and startup improvements to make it uh, more more reliable. Uh, next, we will move into the settings.yaml file. So this is really handy i should say so you can change the number of uh, you know worker nodes uh, the, the kubernetes version and even the networking ranges right so everything um, just by editing this yaml file so you don't need to touch any any other code mm, then let's uh, move into the scripts folder uh, so this is where i have automated everything uh, like uh, you know master.sh node.sh command.sh and dashboard.sh files so uh, when it comes to master.sh this sets up the uh, control plane uh, it, it runs cube adm in it uh, and sets up networking and also it, it installs calico network configuration and, and everything and and when it comes to node.sh uh, it sets up the worker nodes uh, they will uh, you know they automatically join the cluster even Mm, and if you go to the command.sh, if you go through the logic, you will see uh, command.sh does the uh, shared setup steps, things like, you know, installing Docker, setting up kernel modules, like uh, likewise, right? And finally, the dashboard.sh, this is kind of like optionally install the, installs the Kubernetes dashboard, uh, but super useful if you if you want a graphical user interface. And and a few more files that I have added by myself as enhancements to this original repository. Uh, let's start with this check requirements.sh. Uh, shell file so uh, this is uh, this script this checks if 
you know vagrant and virtual box, box are already installed in your machine so you don't run into issues or surprises in the middle right and the cleanup.sh uh, this is a cleanup script actually so it, it destroys uh, you know all the vms virtual machines and cleans up the environment so once you are done with your uh, like experiment you can just run this script and then it will uh, destroy all the worker nodes and, and and this control plane nodes as well so really useful if you want to uh, rebuild the cluster from scratch right so then license and readme files you know about this this project is under gpl3 not over 3.0 and and readme.md which explains how to run everything so it will be useful for the beginners uh, so if you are new to vagrant or kubernetes definitely start by reading this readme file as well and and all right so that's a quick overview of the project so now let's see my home lab in action okay now i'm going to switch back to my terminal uh, in visual studio code Mm, so to bring up the cluster, uh, only one thing to do, uh, that's just start your terminal and run Vagrant up command. So boom, that's it. Now Vagrant is doing all the configuration under the hood, as you can see, you, you can see the output in the terminal. So it is calling the script, uh, you know, setting up the virtual machines and, and in even configuring the uh, control plane components using kubeadm. So all been automated, you can see it. So we need to give it some time, like a couple of minutes maybe and and uh, in the meantime if i check in the virtual check in virtual box uh, let me go to the virtual box so look uh, the control plane node is already up and running uh, but i should say it's still in progress i should say because a lot of components needs to be configured there like you know hcd um, uh, api server and everything so but it's been all automated what you can just uh, you can just uh, watch and uh, wait right so this is super cool right so uh, okay now i have full home lab infrastructure for kubernetes uh, if i check the virtual box you could see one control plane node is already been up and running and the couple of worker nodes has already been uh, like there so i think uh, we are ready to do anything now i can even test workloads even i can practice for cka exam or even i can test or run services so whatever i want uh, whatever you want you can do here uh, the best part is uh, this is uh, all running locally uh, no cloud bills uh, no dependency on external services at all right so this is all us now so you can just uh, do anything like break it fix it uh, just do uh, do everything by yourself right so uh, if you want to try it yourself, uh, the, the full open source repo is linked in the video description. So feel free to fork it and experiment. Even you can uh, raise some PRs to my repository as well for the enhancements, for the bugs that you see. So, and if you find it useful, give it a star uh, in, in, in my GitHub repository. And and, and uh, yeah, that's it about uh, Kubernetes Home Lab. So guys, enjoy it. Uh, just go and... Uh, set up your own uh, Kubernetes home lab as well um, and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you.